you look at the history of any sentient species and what do you find but tableaus of violence and slaughter. Its finger painted on the ceilings of caves and engraved into the walls of temples. Dig a hole deep enough on any world and you'll find the skulls and bones of adults and children fractured by crude weapons. All of us were fighting long before we were farming and raising livestock. Violence is hardwired into most of us and there's no eliminating the impulse, not with an army of stormtroopers or a fleet of star destroyers. That's why we've embarked on a path to a different solution. We have a chance to forge a peace that will endure longer than the Republic was in existence. Orson Callan Krennic at some point during its reign, the Empire undertook an expansion effort known simply as the Imperial Expansion. It was during this time that they constructed a military installation on the volcanic world of Navarro. In total secrecy, the Empire took over construction of a massive battle station with enough firepower to destroy an entire planet, later known simply as the Death Star, that had formerly been a separatist project engineered by Geonosian Archduke Poggle the Lesser's Hive Colony for Count Dooku, who was entrusted with the project's plans for safekeeping throughout the Clone Wars, with supplies coming from various planets and locations such as Sentinel Base and Geonosis. During the Clone War, the Republic had begun work on the battle station. 